at a three announcement track. Yeah, like she's There's definitely no coming back. That is not going to be in Smash Five. <laughs> I need, I need Fly Me to the Moon. Uh -huh. Um, is Fly Me to the Moon not in this game? No. Oh, no. I, is it, are you sure it's not just the instrumental or something? I don't know. I, I haven't really listened to all the music, all her band and music. So I don't know. I'm sure I'll take your word for it. So yeah, I definitely want all her music. Yes, some phenomenal jams here. But speaking of getting jammed, man, uh, Lima kind of getting jammed here, fresh out of the gate. DJ Flip Hop, man, looking really good. And this is the part of pools that I think people kind of tune in for. Like when the, the matches start becoming closer, like the first few matches is always like the heavy hitter and then like some of the lesser known guys and it's always a wash. But, you know, toward, when you get towards the end, that's when it, it starts to draw a little bit more even. Yeah, this is, uh, even though this match hasn't started off great for Lima, I think he's going to bring it back. Hmm. Uh, just needs to get his footing. Sometimes the, the initial like neutral is hard. I, I've definitely had matches like this. You know, you start and you, uh, your hands are cold. You're still kind of getting warmed up and you're getting beaten up. And then like halfway through the match, you start feeling it and you're like, all right. I think Lima might be one of those people. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't start off strong, he's gonna he's gonna get strong eventually. You know? Oh yeah. It's definitely not about how you start. It's always about how you finish in certain cases. Okay, with the forward throw that time, bringing this thing back here. Let's see if DJ Flip Hop here can stop the bleeding, man. Lima's looking like he's found himself in his match. Uh oh. Okay, a little misposition there with the dash attack that time. I do like what he was going for. He understands that I got to get DJ Flip Hop away from this banana peel. I cannot let him have this. Um, did he come forward throw, though? I think he saw a forward throw back towards the stage. You know, I don't think back throw would have KO'd, but it would at least got Peach off stage and kind of give you free banana, free, uh, free stage control. Mm -hmm. Strange. Oh, yeah. Definitely out of percentage for the up there, man. Get that out of <laughs> A little here. bit too far. Yeah, get that out. I love that spacing with that forward tilt. Don't see a lot of forward tilts coming out from Diddy Kong players. I think they generally use their down tilt instead, but uh, still has its uses. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to respect it. Okay, gets the peanut. Oh, wait, what was Lima doing? Lima, okay. That's got to be a misinput, dude. Yeah, that yeah. was, but like, I'm thinking of like the control. <laughs> like, that should have been up B, but you just <laughs> did, I don't know. Maybe his finger wasn't on the joystick. I don't know what the heck. Anyway, though, answering back real quick here. Find himself off stage. Yeah, DJ Flip Hop gets back as quickly as he got off stage, man. He wasn't having any of that Lima problem out there. Okay. I'm oh, very scared. Of, anytime you hit Diddy Kong Shield and he has a banana in the hand, you know exactly what's coming next. Oh, for sure. Okay, backs it up on him once more. Lima. I like the Peach, but I got to say, man, this match is a little too close for comfort. I certainly expect the character shift here if we go into this next game. All right. And did a great job of not always giving Diddy Kong that free banana. Yeah. It's a strong neutral tool for him, but uh, you gotta remember you can't use it for yourself sometimes. I think a lot of people try to play around banana instead of you know working with it. And that goes that goes, you know, what I was saying before, how a lot of people just don't know how to play with items. But of course these top players like Lima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know the Diddy Kong matchup, you're definitely not a top player. Um, and Lima certainly knows it like the back of his hand here and is starting to show. Um, and I think that's some of the things that separates like a good Diddy from like a bad Diddy. How well they can play with Banana Peel or play without it, excuse me. You know, because there's going to be a, a time where your opponent's going to know how to get it away from you. But DJ Flip Hop doesn't seem to mind not having it. I mean, if he does have it, of course he's going to go for it. But if he doesn't have it, you don't see him kind of, you know, playing frantically to get another one. <laughs> and they're going now a little bit too early for these ledge guards. Either that or DJ Flip Hop doing a really, really great job of adjusting the way. Oh, that banana is going to catch him, dude. That that wait, actually that wait, was wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. That was it. That banana against the ledge falling down. He even looked at Liam's face. He's like, damn, that really got me? That was that was actually dumb. I don't blame you, dude. That was really dumb. <laughs> okay, now, DC, do you think he's going to go Peach again? Or is he going to stop playing around? I think he was doing fine in that match. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he switched. But, um, yeah, he's, he's just not playing around. Okay. That, that, last, that last KO was kind of ridiculous, honestly. Yeah, that was – I had never seen – uh, banana pill KO. Like, I've seen, like, banana uh, snipes. I mean, on a character like Peach, I mean, she can pretty much recover. I'm not going to say from anywhere, but, you know, her distance is very, is much greater than other characters. I'll be honest, I don't, I still don't think this is a free match for Banana. I think she really does, uh, Diddy Kong does put in work in this matchup. I don't think it's necessary. Ooh, that, that would have been cute. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite work that way, unfortunately. Okay. Lima, up here on these top platforms, kind of hanging out. I like that. He's, this this match here, he's not going to focus so much on like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with DJ Flip Hop, I feel. He's going to uh, focus more on like retreating, using his bullet climax and his bullet arts to his advantage. You know, just putting on damage the safe way. Okay. So here we go. We need a banana Z drop. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like that. That's like that old CP3O, JJ Rock, especially like get the Z drop right into the spike. Okay. 
another forwarder this time. I'd like to see a few more of those, man. Especially at a percent like this, you can really start to chain those up. I like that. I don't know if you saw him auto cancel that that down air like instantly and go for a grab. That was pretty cute. I think I would have fallen for that too, honestly. Yes. Oh, 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 catches the, the classic. Yeah, catches that roll off the ledge. I'm liking this. Lima much more comfortable in this match here. But DJ Flip Hop again, once more, finding all these openings just with the banana peel. Now, Lima, you know, even though the pacing is more in his control, he's really struggling here to keep this banana peel away from DJ Flip Hop this time. And I think that might be the tool needed here to try to bring him back. Yep. Yeah, you can tell he was trying is. to slow that down, to slow that one down as much as possible. Uh, you know, just maybe get some safe damage, not overextend. And he didn't, he didn't overextend, he just made one mistake, and uh, Flip Hop took advantage of that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Both players dancing around each other here. Oh, yeah. He said, don't even try to come in for a grab this time. Gets the sliding heel kick, but of course, a little misposition there to get the second piece of it. So he tried to catch him there with the up tilt. Huh. Two, three, oh. four, five, how six. Did, you know, now, that think, now that I think about it, how the hell did we end up on Talon City? That's actually a good question. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's, it's really hard. To, it's, it's really hard to ban stages against, against Bayonetta, man. You know, she has so many options, so many good stages to go to. So, mm -hmm. But, you know, Talon City, that's like. It's like the safe bet, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, most definitely. All right. Game three. So hovering over Town of City again, I really hope we don't. All right, whatever. Whatever. What What do I know, man? You know, if he wants to go back to Town of City, go back to Town of City, That's man. why I say compensating is a blow-up, man. You, can, you can't. People are just crazy. They go out of their way to do weird stuff and just make it so anything you're saying just sounds like a... <laughs> yeah, sounds man. Like <laughs> okay, triple, triple up till. Tries to go for... Oh, almost got quadruple there that time. Wow, oh, he's just taking, he's taking him from one platform to another, DC. This is crazy. <laughs> I was going to say, man, make him pay for this town, this town city uh, counter break. Mm -hmm. Or, I guess, a rematch. Okay. It's the back there that time. Put on a little damage himself. You know, I, I forget, you know, Diddy Kong doesn't quite have, like, the combo strings band that it has. But, you know, I, one or two conversions, Diddy Kong certainly brings himself back into the lead here. You know, we've seen, like, a chain of up tilts there come out from Lima. But it really didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, you really can't. You blink, and all of a sudden, you have 61% on you. You know, Diddy Kong's done like two combos to you. Yeah. Okay. Which Swiss? I think that banana peel kind of clanked with the dare there that time. Another opening, though, as we know. The Wicked Weaves. Very strong smash attacks, but they clank with quite a bit, too, as well. Yeah, they do have item priority, so a little clank with a lot of things, mainly aerials. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, you're not getting that banana peel back. Let it go. Oh, the spacing. The micro spacing. Two steps back was enough to put him right out of range of that monkey flip. Jeez, he is just all over him right now. They almost got the snipe, forced the oh, air dodge. Wow, I've never seen a roll bait like that. That is, I think that's one of the craziest attacks you can use to, uh, to punish a roll back off of the ledge. Okay, knocks him down, sliding hill kick. Gets the, okay. Gets the first hit, but then misses the second one. That's the second time we've seen that. I know a lot of Bayonetta's try not to go for that, like just fresh in the neutral. But hell, if you know it's going to work, why not? Oh, we're high. Uh, it's about the same, man. That's the last place. You know, if you're going to get caught by Bayonetta anywhere, get caught on stage. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Okay, got a Randy Forest smash there that time. Yeah, you can tell he wants to stock because yeah, it's, it's starting to get unmanageable. 70%. That's like right at the cusp of something you don't want to start another stock at. You can still do this. He's not too far behind. Okay. Quick roll back and forth. Lima here taking a lot of damage though. Oh, okay, I like that. Using the witch time there to just kind of outmaneuver the down tilt. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Now that was some scary business there. Charging a little bit too long. I think it was a down smash. <laughs> now DJ flip pop right now. Oh. Definitely playing out of his mind here. Channeling his inner Salem. Classic. Right. Bayonetta, let him know. Please come in. Yeah, I love that. I love that idle animation. That's definitely one of the best in the game. Yeah, free. Now, where are the names of Bayonetta's guns here? Oh my God, you putting me on the spot here, dude. Dude, I know. Well, it's been okay, a while since I, I played Bayonetta too. I know in Bayonetta too, it's uh, Love is Blue, but I don't. I forget what they're called in Bayonetta. Well, I like I like the one guns a little bit better than two. I can't lie. Yeah, I forget the names of the ones uh, in, in Bayonetta one. Okay. Okay, here he is right now, chilling up on the ledge here this time. Bayonetta, uh oh, you got it. You got to get off. You got to get off. Uh oh, landing recovery. Gonna have a ton of landing recovery. Goes, oh, what you doing out the here? Ledge. Oh my what god. What you doing? Oh, uh, wow. Uh, no, that's it, dude. I think uh, I think this is the winner's finals of the pool, so it may be three oh, out of five. It's three of five. It's three of five. Okay. Hope so. Yeah, I, I, I would hope so too, because <laughs> the way that went down, that, that hurts. 
that was uh, that was really disappointing. You know, Bayonetta, a ton of aerials. There's no more platforms. Had you either land on stage recovery or obviously going to retreat towards the ledge. And he just monkey. I guess he monkey flipped trying to catch the recovery on stage. But like, you got to know, Bayonetta is always going to go for the the ledge in that kind of situation. You know, mm -hmm. she's not going to let herself get punished like that. Yeah, and this is a very very different Lima here. Starting out the combos the right way this time, but like we've seen in the first match, you know, a lot of those up tilt conversions off the platforms is super dope. But you know, all you need is just one or two setups here. Right, I just want to say DJ flip pop, and that's it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I want to say Bayonetta has not lost a match here on Town City yet. Once again, we find ourselves here. Now you play Bayonetta. What's your favorite stage with her? Is uh, it Town and City? Well, actually, it's Dreamland. But Dream okay, okay. <laughs> but De if definitely I, didn't expect that. You know, if it was, if it wasn't, come on, let's be real. Dreamland, a tiny stage. Where are you gonna go? Yeah. Uh, but if right, it wasn't, right. Dream, you know, obviously most people ban uh, the tri whole tri platforms combination thing. Made it really, really hard to go to Dreamland. But uh, if not Dreamland, definitely would be this stage. Okay. I got you. I definitely feel that. You know, I was thinking more like. Maybe town to city, or maybe like. Oh, oh God, wait, God. wait, no, wait! He really, he really ran it back the exact same way. He KO'd the peach. What the heck is going on here, my dude Lima? I, I love that though. Flip Hop sees the mistake, sees your, you know, you've used your upbeat underneath the plot. I'm just gonna throw the banana here. I lose nothing from doing this, right? And I like this, uh, I don't, for lack of a better term, like this, this opportunist play style here. That you say, oh wait, my whoa, whoa, what you doing? Gracious. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, what's happening? All right, I think Lima's. I think Lima said, "You know what? I'm just gonna go game five. Yeah, game where's, five. where's JJ Rockets? I know he's super upset at the way Lima's playing. Game five. Game Ooh, what five, the game heck? Five. Oh, he did that on game purpose. Five, game five. Game he five. Did, he did it on purpose. It's cool. It's some, sometimes it's just a wash, dude. It's you a know? wash. Yeah. yeah. After a stock like that, you can tell Lima just he's out of it. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I know JJ Rockets is at home. Like, man, he's making me mad with the way Lima's been strutting his stuff on his stage, not taking stocks. <laughs> I just can't believe Flip Hop taunted like, <laughs> like as Bayonetta was right next to him. That's hilarious. Uh-oh. Game five, back down in City. <laughs> Both of these two guys in their final form here. <laughs> There's only pools, DC. This is nutty. Yeah, this is uh, this is some great pools play, man. This is the first pool. Mm -hmm. Five winners finals of this pool. Winner will make it out. Loser will have to play some more pools matches. I got to say, man, as of late, the pools play is actually becoming a lot better at, at major events. You know, it's not, a, it's not a, a just a wash like what we've seen in years prior. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, he gets another up air. He tries to go for another one that time. It looks like DJ Flip Hop, though, certainly learning his lesson with how that last match went, though. He's like, yeah, man, you hit me with like six up airs in a row. I can't allow you to do that to me anymore. <laughs> oh, pivot grab, beautiful stuff. Really interesting to say right there, man. A pivot grab with Bayonetta, you know, not the best grab range in the world, but no, she will, she'll certainly take all grabs, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a ton of, you know, you know, depending on the percent, depending on the character. Oh my God, the Lima! It's really Lima! About to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down like this. Can we talk, Lima? You gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah, he's chilling now. He's all right. Let me, let me, let me chill. Yeah, flip hop in a great position now. 68 percent. He had to make a pretty big mistake here to uh, lose a stock. Oh wait a second. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. You gotta get, you gotta, get, you gotta land, dude. You gotta land. Get out of there. No. <laughs> flip hop. You don't want to get caught in the air. You got to get hit on the stage. And that's Man. how you stay alive. Lima sees, like, he sees, like, that one small opening. And that opening could be as, like, it could be as, as big players, as, like, though. it could be players. a pinhole. Yeah, and they, like, they just, they just open it up, man. It's crazy. Game five, final stock for both players. Winner will make it out of pools. Loser will go on to fight more pools matches. Been a very close off. set so far. A lot of mistakes from both players. A lot of players taking advantage of mistakes. Can they do? Who's gonna do it this time, Rod? Who's gonna do it this time? I don't know, man. I mean, uh, history shows Lima plays very well from behind. From behind. But wait a second, though. DJ Flip Hop, though, turning this into something. As a banana in hand, the second fair will catch him. This is still anybody's game here, man. I've seen Bayonetta do crazier stuff. Wait a second. Okay. Wait. Oh, he's struggling Woo! to get back on stage here. Goes for the monkey flip. Oh, wait my one God. second. He has his jump though. He's, he's gonna make it back. Still very scary. You always know. Okay, gets the up throw. There's an up air. Rod, really not shrugged. like this, oh, Rod. It's, it's about to go. He able to make it out somehow. A little bit too late pulling the trigger on that second up B. Okay, he's playing out of his mind right now. Lima, 126%. One conversion here. That ends in a smash attack from DJ Flip Hop is going to close it out here for the Umbra Witch. And he has that banana in hand, too. You know exactly what he's waiting for. One mistake. Drops a banana, though, and now it's Lima's. <laughs> oh, it rolls right into danger. Let's talk about these percentages, Rod. Anybody's game oh, still. Oh, no. Is, is this Evo? Okay, you gotta stop monkey flipping. Okay, Lima looking oh, good here. Oh, I just went down like God. that. What a way to go out! He hit him with the MPD dog. <laughs> <Day four. laughs> 
Why? Why do you think he pressed up the air? <laughs> he knew exactly what he was doing. Dude, the, he knew exactly what he was doing. Rocking the Rockets hat for a reason there, DC. Set that <laughs> minute to the oblivion. Rockets, why do I? <laughs>